Hello, today I'm working on my very own uh, MacBook Pro. This is a mid-2014 MacBook Pro um, A3198 uh, EMC2881. This computer has a battery that's really poor, so uh, it's time to replace it. So let's open it up. This computer has different screws in the corners than here. They're, they're all very small, but the ones here are even shorter than the ones in the corners. It's not too dusty. Actually, it looks pretty good. There's some heat marks on here. I'm tempted to redo the thermal paste while I'm in here. So this model has a, an SSD that is likely not replaceable with, a, with an adapter because it'd be too long, it'd run into the speaker. So I'm pretty much stuck with that SSD. And then the RAM is soldered on, there's 16 gigs of RAM. It's a really nice laptop, I love this laptop. I've had it since it was new. And it's been great, but lately the battery is just dead. Every time I go to use it, there's no charge. And Mac OS is telling me to service the battery. But this battery, I believe, is glued in, or double-sided tape holding it in. So it's not going to be very much fun taking the old one out. So there's the new one. It looks like a perfect match. Yeah. I buy these batteries from an eBay seller called Expert PC. I've bought loads of MacBook batteries from them and they always deliver quickly and they're, they're high quality batteries. I'm really impressed with that eBay seller. Now, as we warning stickers coming off. And I will disconnect the battery. Might need to use a pry tool to get some leverage under here. Just being careful not to actually pry on the, the socket. I don't think I've ever had this battery disconnected in its seven or six years. There we go. All right. Oh, wow, so this is going to be even more complicated because part of this cell is underneath the edge of the case here, or this, these little aluminum bosses that stick out. It's going to be so hard to get under there and pry. I'm going to have to go, I'll have to loosen these outer cells first and then maybe go in from the system board side. I'm tempted to take this whole thing apart, but it's quite a complicated little build. There's a lot of intricate stuff going on in there that I'm kind of not wanting to take apart. Um, so what are these? Are they torques? Baby torques? Yeah. So I've got the retina display just below the trackpad here. And there's there's an opening here, so the battery's on the other side of this. And if I were to leak any acetone through there, it'll destroy my screen. Because I'm going to use acetone to get this out. Now, I'm worried about the edges. I might look at iFixit to see what they recommend. Oh my gosh. So, according to iFixit, I need to take the logic board out, which means taking the cooling assembly out with the fans, the, the logic board, then speakers and then I can get at the, the cells but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna take the speakers out and I'm gonna go in to get these two cells out and once I do I can go in around the side here to get this battery out I will need to protect the screen so I'm gonna put some I've got a, a heavy kind of plastic bag with you know an anti-static bag and some layers of paper towel that I'll put in there but yeah I'm not gonna take the whole logic board out I'm gonna try to get these speakers out um, where do they connect? Oh. 
Mm, so there's a speaker wire. Uh, I think the other speaker wire is here. Uh, well, let's find out together. Looks like just those two screws. Yeah. Now, like, that speaker wire is going to have to come out, obviously. What? That's kind of tight against the system board. There might actually be something else holding it down. Hmm. Maybe I should follow their instructions. Hmm. Actually, it's just... Oh, there's a... There's a standoff coming up from the bottom there. Yeah. So if you can get clear of that... Uh, I feel like it's... There's something else holding it in. I don't know if it's that bit that sticks over the in the case, if that's overlapping the speaker or what, but it's not going to come out. Hmm. I think I might have to take the whole thing apart. Okay, well, I guess we are going to disassemble the entire MacBook in order to do this. So um, I need to take off the airport antenna wires. So I'm just going to lift these up. Gently, very gently. And then these are stuck underneath this little rubber bumper. They're stuck to the fan. They're also bundled with the microphone cable connector, which is here. So I need Need to be able to slide that out of the way. Let me just move my microscope a tiny bit. Uh, how does that come out? Oh, I like that. Let's see. If I can get that in there, it might be glued down a little bit. Can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. Look at that. Okay. That's free. So now I can lift that ribbon cable, which is stuck to the speaker with double-sided tape. Gently. Okay, so there's just a dab there. And then I guess a dab here. Did I say speaker? It's the fan, it's stuck to the fan. And then they're inside of this little wire loom here okay so now that is up and out of the way the goal here is to be able to remove the fan and the uh, the io board which is over here so this io board cable so there's there's an io board over here on the left that's connected by this flat cable here and the MacBooks have two different versions of this cable. This version, which has the notched pad here, actually has a clip that I need to undo before I can pull this free. So underneath here, there's going to be a clip. I'm going to try to peel this back gently to reveal a clip. And I'm not sure how this opens up, but I think there. So I just lifted it flipped up. And now I think that should lift off of the connector. Yeah, and it did. Okay. So that was actually quite easy, quite gentle. Same thing here. Just peel this back a little bit. Try to get this little lever up. There it's up. And now I'll just pry a little bit. And that's up. Okay. So that wasn't hard at all. It it was it came up quite easily. And now I want to try to get this unstuck from the fan without using too much force. I don't want to kink the cable or anything like that. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna remove the airport card now. 
because that's in the way of the, the fan. You can see the fan cable and connector there. So I'm going to just remove that airport card. This should lift up a little bit and then slide out just like a kind of like an M2 drive only these don't rely on you tipping it up at a 10 to 15 degree angle. They kind of want it to come out flat-ish. So there that's out. That's interesting. Just the kind of mark on the board underneath that card. Alright, so now the fan connector has a, a ZIF socket, which will have a little lever here that I flip up. And then that'll come out, but this is stuck to the board, I think. Yeah. Maybe I'll I'll take those fan screws out next so that I have some so that I don't risk tearing that cable. Just placing these screws in a way that I won't get them mixed up. Because they're all different. Okay. I think this fan should come free, and there's the cable moving. And then I think that slides out. Should. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So now the, the other fan, what they call the left fan, over here, it's going to be very similar. I need to peel up this rubber. It's actually not really even attached, is it? Take the screws out, undo the ZIF socket. I'm going to do that first in case I forget. Take these screws out. I undid the wrong ZIF socket. So it's this this zip socket here. So it really does pay to watch what you're doing at every stage. Anytime I take something, I'm about to take something out, make sure that cable is disconnected as expected and so on, because there's so many fragile little ribbon cables that uh, can easily get torn. Uh, let's see. I will remove the solid state drive which is here, the Samsung SSD. So that's got all my data on it. Next we'll remove the, the I.O. board, which is up here in this corner. So this boyo, there's a connector here, a ribbon cable that goes between the system board and the I.O. board. It's actually got some damage to it some wear. It just looks like it's it's been in there for a long time and it's cracking. So I'll flip this cable up if I can. Need a slightly sharper spudger. There we go. So this cable is very similar to the graphics connectors on some laptops. But that relaxes it comes up and then it slides out. So now the I.O. board is disconnected from the motherboard or system board. And there will be two screws holding it in. One of them is there. Screw two is here. Those look the same. So now this I.O. board should come straight up, I think. I mean, it'll have a little bit of capture there on the edge from the USB connectors. That's USB, HDMI, and an SD card reader. What is that? Anyway, I bet I can get that speaker out now. Oh, good thing I didn't pry. There's another screw there. That's what I'm talking about. So there, the speaker has another screw that was hidden under the I.O. board. Why am I not surprised? So let me see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I'll take the logic board out. I'll just start with these connectors. Um, 
I don't know if I can even show all of this very easily, but over here we've got the speaker connector. So this is the, the speaker connector, a speaker connector for this side. Tape down the, up to the board a little bit, and then I need to get underneath it, and basically lift that connector straight up. It would be a lot easier if they didn't tape this to the board. And so now I want to make sure that I'm just under the connector and not the socket on the board. Okay, and now we'll go around the board. So the next is the keyboard connector, which is covered up by this piece of tape here. So I can peel that back. And then that's a, that a zip socket. So I need to lift up the retaining flap. There we go. You saw that come up. And now the cable should come out. There we go. Now the trackpad connector is under this little piece of foam. That should just lift straight up. I think. Yeah. That's up. It actually was quite loose. Um, this is the, I think, the other speaker connector here. Might be a little tricky to get that to lift up. There it goes. Okay. That didn't feel very nice. Uh, so then going around the board, we have the keyboard backlight connector up here. So that should just lift up, I think. Yeah. Now, let's see. As we go around the board, there's a, another little cable over here, which is for the microphone, I think. So that pops up and then should slide out. It'd be tricky. This is going to be tricky to get back in. There we go. Uh, and then I think all that's left is the display connector here. So that has the little latch and then it's attached in here. I don't know if it's kind of stuck to the MagSafe connector. There we go. So I won't try not to lift up on it. Maybe with this tool I can get some leverage. There we go. Okay, so that's disconnected and out of the way. Now all that's left, all that should be left, are the screws that are holding the system board in. Right, one of these screws is covered up by a little rubber cover. So that comes off there. Now in addition to the, what is it, six, one, two, three, four, five, there are six screws holding the system board in. The so one there, one there, and then I'm going to take out the two screws that hold the MagSafe connector in. The one that was covered up there, there's two there, uh, and then one that's on the end of this heat sink up here. I'm going to start with that one on the heat sink way over here. It's really windy out there. And then I'll just go around the board. And then as I mentioned, I'm going to take out these two, the two screws that are holding the MagSafe connector in so that I don't have to disconnect the MagSafe connector from the back of the board. And then this screw here. So now the system board should be free. I can get it past all these wee cables. Speaker wire is so tight in there. And then the MagSafe, come on buddy. There we go. Wow, okay. There's the system board. Out. Hooey. Now I need to get these speakers out. And 
As far as I know, there are only three screws holding them in. So the rest of this adhesion is going to be just some sort of double-sided tape. Yeah. Look at that speaker. That's pretty impressive. All right, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Got those three screws out, so now I'm just going to take it out. Just kind of pry it. Might get underneath with a spudger on this end. It feels like it's really kind of stuck. I don't want to damage the speaker cone though. So I need to be careful where I go. There it goes. Yeah. And there's the speaker wire. Okay. Good. Okay. So now my battery is as exposed as it's going to be. And I need to go on to the next step, which is protecting my LCD because I'm going to be using acetone. So I need to cover up my retina display and make sure that I don't get any acetone on there. I'm going to put paper towel just in case, but I really hope that we never get to that stage. And I don't think paper towel is really going to do much to protect it anyway. So this is an anti-static bag that I've used in the past for this purpose. Okay. This is a pure acetone. I'm just going to put some into this tub. And I'm going to cut up a couple of these crucial MX500 cases to make thin plastic rectangle basically like that I can just dig in. Uh, let's see, I think I will just... From each rectangle of plastic I'm going to make one tool that's basically folded in half. So I'm just going to cut the, the contoured edges off so that I have kind of a sharp cutting tool. And maybe I'll just go down here. All right. I actually might try just that single ply like that. I'm gonna cut off this little curve that I've got here. And now on this one, I think I'll go double ply. So I have two different tools that are slightly, one's thicker than the other. And then I'll save this in case I need to do more. Fold that in half. Which way? Maybe like this. That way I've got a little bit of a handle here. Okay, so now I've got this long thin one. Might actually cut that into two tools because these are going to wear out. Alright. Okay, here we go. I might use some gloves. Alright, here we go. Um, uh, kind of need to prop this up a wee bit. Got some styrofoam here. So now I've, I've propped it up so that it's leaning a bit toward me. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to pour some of this into here. I shouldn't do this over the laptop though. I'm going to do it over my desk. And now I'm going to try to pry out this leftmost cell here. So I'm just getting a little bit of acetone on this piece of plastic. And I'm going to try to jam it underneath the cell. And this piece of plastic is quite sharp. And so this is working what I think is fairly easily, fairly well. It seems to be getting under there. I'm going to go with a little more because I think I didn't get any on this innermost bit of adhesive tape. Oh yeah, there we go, that really helped. Okay, first cell free. There's a little standoff here, a little post for the uh, speaker. 
that is really in my way. And there's nothing I can do about that. I guess I'll just go around the side, maybe. Just need to be careful that I'm not damaging anything or being too brutish. I don't want to tear any cells or you know, tear, tear the plastic or short any connectors together. I also need to be careful not to slide this into my screw magnet. Oh, get under the battery. That was my bad. Okay, try this again. Not really getting much in there, am I? Try again. That was a direct hit. This is really sad that they've done it this way. Seems if you go down the length of that tape instead of trying to attack it from the side, it tends to work a bit better. My problem is that little standoff, so I think I need a thinner piece that can just tuck up in here. Although it is going. Okay. Little more acetone, and I think this job's a good one. As they say in the north of England. Okay, that cell is free. That actually wasn't too bad. I'm gonna just move my acetone over here. And I'm gonna be prying from this direction. So now I'll try this first cell again, see if it's as easy as the last one. Oops. Now this plastic is starting to degrade from the acetone. Alright. Just give me a little toe hold there. There we go. Okay. Okay, first cell, three. I need to be careful of this keyboard connector, this keyboard ribbon cable. It's kind of in a precarious spot. Don't want to wreck it. <clears throat> I'm gonna start a new piece of plastic. Okay, so now, right, I'm going to move the acetone to a safe place here. And I still want to keep my, my angle. So I need to get under here. Right, okay. I'm going to prop up the left edge of the MacBook. And I'm going to try to go into this cell here. Afraid I've bent my pry tool a bit too much. Now I'm going to try to go under here. Yeah. Just 
working this in a little bit. Okay, I've definitely got through one row of the tape. So let me uh, rearm. Try again for the next one. Just exposing it to a little bit of acetone. It's coming. There we go. Don't tell me there are three strips of adhesive. Yeah, there might be. But I've got the other one there. Okay. Yep, so that one's free. Okay. Haha, -ha, okay. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So now I'm just gonna go back in and move my acetone and my little whatever you call that. My pillow. So this folded piece is actually really effective at delivering acetone. It captures a lot of acetone in between the two layers of plastic. So I'm going to use that to start this middle bit just to get some chemical in there. If I can get it in and not on. Okay. I think that has done the job. So now I'll stick this bit in there in order to start cutting from that side. I flip these cells out of my way, and here we go. Oh, it's just slicing it nicely. Oh my gosh. Oh. So close. Yeah, here we go. We're done, I think. Almost. Okay, there it is. Ta-da! Battery out, intact. Uh, let me just make sure it doesn't have a bunch of acetone sticking off of it. Let me lay it here for the minute. And I'm gonna get rid of this chemical. There's not much left. That went about as well as I could have hoped, really. All right, well, my glove is ripped, possibly from the acetone. Come on. This stuff is not working with gloves on just wrecking the gloves anyway. Okay. Got to be careful. This is my beloved trackpad. There we go. Okay. I don't like how much this is flexing as I do this. Makes me nervous.
Okay, so did I damage anything? There's an adhesive coming off of there. Or is that plastic denominating? Oh, adhesive. Okay. Right, well, okay, that was stressful. Maybe I'll eat my lunch. <clears throat> okay. I'll take off my protective stuff here. We use these paper towels. All right, time to put the new battery in, which comes like this with plastic on the top and the bottom, plastic covering up the adhesive. Let's see, so this has to slide in here. I'm not exactly sure where center is. Well, I mean, it would go like that. So this wire can be adjusted. Well, I feel like that's pretty much in the right place. And yeah, it can go left or right a few millimeters without any consequence. So maybe like, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna put it in place. I'm tempted to even say that. I don't actually like even saying those words. Ah, sure, I'm just gonna go for it because the consequences are pretty bad if it's in the wrong place. Let's see about the speakers. If the speakers are in here, yeah, there's plenty of clearance around the speakers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. So I'm gonna take the plastic backing off to expose the adhesive. Wow. This card is really stiff. This is a genuine Apple battery. That adhesive is identical to what was on here. All the markings are the same. I don't know how they do it. Oh, that needs to go under there. That would be good. Okay, I'm just trying to line it up with the trackpad to make sure it's straight. I don't like this. I think I'm at the point of no return here. Just hope it's right. This feels a bit wonky. Well, it's in. Permanently. Semi-permanently, I guess. Look who it is. Ah, look who it Hi. is. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this put back together now. So I'm going to I'm gonna put these screws in first. Secure the battery. Can't quite see where that hole is. Oh dear. Maybe I'm a little crooked. No, nope, that's good. Okay. Alright, so that's in. Now the speakers. Mm, didn't quite feel right. There we go. Right, now the system board goes back in. I just need to make sure I don't trap any of these connectors underneath it. We've got four of them here, the keyboard, trackpad, battery, and speaker. Uh, over here, where is that speaker? Okay. The, what is that? Microphone? Keyboard, backlight, uh, and then those wires there. Oh, you know what? Before I do this, I'm going to change the thermal paste on my motherboard. Are there any other screws holding this on? So that's coming off. Oh no, there's yeah, there's two more screws here, three more screws, four more screws over the GPU. All right. I 
think I might put a little alcohol on that. Alright. Like how they left a little streak of it across the, the board there. I mean, I've got the chip clear, but the rest of it is still pretty gummed up. Need to be careful not to. Oh, that's underneath the, the plastic cover. Nice. That's fine. Might get a, a swab and some alcohol. Or just a swab first, see what that does. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I'm just going to use standard MX4 as I would on any other CPU. I'm not adding a lot more. I'm just kind of spreading this around because I'm never comfortable just putting some in the middle and letting the, the heat spreader spread it around. I just want to make sure that it's uniform and adequate. All right, so now I'm going to line up the GPU. All right, so where was I? I was putting my heat sink back on. good. So I slid that down and it snapped into place. Alright, that's in, that's tight, let's go get this computer back together. Move that out of the way. Alright, so these tiny ribbon cables that I do not want to trap. That goes in there, Jeez, okay. Then that one, and then there's another one up here. Except I have to get this end of the computer in first, don't I? The speaker wire back. Okay, that's in. I think. Hmm. Yep. Really don't want to damage my keyboard connector. Okay. Um, so fan, fan. So I've got one, two, three. And the keyboard, trackpad, battery, speaker, keyboard backlight, display. Yeah, I think that's everything. These wires definitely don't go under there. Okay, there we go. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put those screws back in. Might start with the pair of screws up here. Yep. slot so big. Like is there a manufacturing tolerance so big that that needs to be like that on the case maybe? All right I'm gonna start reconnecting these so speaker speaker. Oh that's got to go under that board though doesn't it? Shoot. I'm gonna loosen that battery connector. Not quite lined up perfectly, is it? I think that's just a piece of tape on the battery, though. Okay. Hmm. 
think this is going to be the hard one here. Although, hmm, maybe not. This keyboard connector seems like it has a bit of slack. If I can get that down flush with the board. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. That's good. Okay. This wee connector here is going to be a tricky one. Potentially. I'm going to use my ceramic tweezers. Oh, look at that. That was actually easy. Wow, okay. Now the display connector. The battery is disconnected. Okay, that snapped into place nicely. So then I've got the keyboard backlight, this here, which is just a press down. So I just need to move it around until it feels right and then snap that in place. Um, I guess it's probably this I.O. board then is next. Oh, I see those other ones are for the fan. This doesn't feel quite right. Okay, sure it does. So this has two teeny weeny little screws, 3.1 millimeter screws that go in here and up here. Oh no, I've covered up the plug. That's why it doesn't quite feel right. Hope I didn't damage the connector. Okay, put the SSD in nice and firmly. I guess I'll put the cable back in for the, make sure both those latches are open. So the IO board connector goes there. And then I guess that latch goes down and then that's it. Okay. Didn't quite feel right. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Let me try this one again. Nope, doesn't feel right. Get that in with the latch up and then push the latch down. The latch isn't latching. Okay. I think that's right. Time will tell. So now I'll put the fans back in. Might try to get this fan connector in there first. Let me put that under the microscope. So that wee fan connector has to slide into here and then flick that down. Okay, so that fan is in and connected only. I should have maybe done it before I did this cable. I probably should have cleaned my fans while it was out, but uh, I mean, those fans don't look very dirty anyway. So, hmm, I'm happy enough. My fans are quite clean. Now on to the other side. So there's the fan connector. Hmm. And now the airport, yeah. basically the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi card. And now these wires have to go back into this wire loom. And I have to connect the microphone cable and the three Wi-Fi antenna wires. So this microphone, or webcam connector, I think, is what it is. Yeah, it's a webcam. I'm going to need to push. Maybe I'll just do this. Brilliant.
Uh, I think that's everything. Just need to plug in the battery, if I can. So this battery connector doesn't quite, like it's a bit long, although I think it's meant to be. There we go. All right. And I'm gonna put this wee scary sticker back on the battery. Warning. Okay. Put my wee bumpers back over and come back on. Right, so I've got the hinge side toward me, and that's where these two short boyos go. I've got my Pentalobe P5 tip in there again. Put these two short ones in first, and then the rest of them are all the slightly longer ones. Maybe I'll do half of them, test it, and make sure that it works. Okay, battery's flat. Let's charge it. Got an orange charge light. And I've got an Apple logo. This says 54%, so I'm gonna leave it plugged into the charger until it's fully charged and then another four hours. So I'm gonna put those other screws in. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.